Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to hide the clock in Windows 11 with this little app called Win 11 Clock Toggler. So it's pretty simple to use except the uh, only catch is it'll hide your uh, system tray and notification at the same time. So supposedly for Windows 11 that's all kind of tied to the clock so it's a one or all type of thing if you want to hide it. This will also work for Windows 10 and there's a switch, I think it's dash C, which you could have it just hide the clock but leave the uh, system tray notifications. So you might want to try that for Windows 10. Um, but for Windows 11, all you need to do is just have this, you'll download this zip file here, extract it, you'll have these two files, and you just double click the executable, and then press any key to leave the screen there. So now everything's gone, and if you want it back, just double click it again, press any key, and it's back. So you could also just put this on your, you know, right click pin to start or whatever, and you could just click it from your start menu, find a way to pin it to your taskbar. You can put it, when you're, put it in your startup item, so when your computer boots up or you log in, it'll run it and then hide it for you. Or, you know, just put it on your desktop, whatever you want to do. And there's also, you could also do a batch file to where you don't have to press a key to leave it. So what you could do for that is show you some options. So if you take the path to it, copy it, open a command prompt, then you could just do CD space, right click, and it'll paste it in there. Now you're there, do win, do tab to complete it. And if you do a slash H, you can get the help here. Uh, so like for this one here for Windows 10, hide shows just the clock. And if you have secondary screens, you could do that. Batch file, it doesn't wait for a key to be pressed. So you could you know make this command in a batch file with a dash B or slash B. And then just run that batch file if you want, so you don't have to press a key to leave the screen. And so on. So it's pretty cool, pretty easy to use. So you just need to just decide if it's okay if you don't have your system tray at the same time. So, you know, if it's something you could easily get to, you could just, you know, run it again, get it back, and then close it down when you want to hide the clock. All right, so I'll put a link to the download in the description, and you could uh, try it out for yourself and see how you like it. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.